Me, Pop, can we? Well, it's up to you guys. It's all right with me. Gee, thanks, Pop. Well, I want to go. The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet, a groundbreaking TV series that aired in 1952, featured the real-life Nelson family, including Ozzy, Harriet, David, and Ricky. The casting process for this show was unique, as the main characters were all related. Ozzy Nelson, the father, was an established band leader and actor before the show. His wife, Harriet, had experience as a singer and actress. Their two sons, David and Ricky, were teenagers when the show began and they grew up on screen for the audience. The casting process for The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet was more about finding the right family dynamic than holding traditional auditions. The Nelsons were already a close-knit family, which translated well on screen. They had even appeared together in a radio show called The Ozzy Nelson Show since 1944. When it came time to transition to television, the family's chemistry and comfort with each other were already established. This made the casting process more about ensuring that the family could adapt to the new medium than finding new talent. The show was a pioneer in many ways, including being one of the first to feature a real-life family. The authenticity of their relationships added a layer of warmth and charm that resonated with audiences. In summary, the casting of The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet was more about finding a family that could translate their real-life dynamics to television than holding traditional auditions. The Nelsons established chemistry and comfort with each other made them the perfect fit for the show. That's right. That's at least the way I feel. I always appreciate it more Pop gives it to us. <laughs> the Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet, a 1952 TV series, was directed by Ozzy Nelson himself. Ozzy's directorial vision was deeply influenced by his background in music and radio, which is evident in the show's smooth pacing and emphasis on character interactions. Ozzy's approach was to create a warm, family-friendly atmosphere, focusing on the everyday adventures of the Nelson family. He used a single camera setup, which was unusual for the time, to capture a more cinematic look. This choice added intimacy to the scenes, making viewers feel like they were part of the Nelson family. Collaboration was key to Ozzy's vision. He worked closely with his real-life family wife Harriet and sons David and Ricky to ensure authenticity in their performances. Ozzy's directorial style was characterized by his ability to guide his family in their acting while also giving them the freedom to express their own personalities. In terms of creative influences, Ozzy drew inspiration from his own experiences as a band leader and family man. He aimed to create a show that reflected American family values, and his vision resonated with audiences, leading to the show's long-running success. Ozzy's collaborative approach also extended to the show's crew. He worked closely with the writers, cameramen, and sound engineers to ensure that every aspect of the show aligned with his vision. His attention to detail and commitment to quality were evident in every episode, contributing to the show's enduring popularity. It says, Dear Ricky, how are you? The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet was a popular TV series that aired from 1952 to 1966. It starred the real-life Nelson family, including Ozzy, Harriet, and their sons, David and Ricky. The show was known for its wholesome portrayal of family life and is often credited as one of the first family sitcoms on television. One lesser-known fact about the show is that it was based on the Nelson family's own radio show, which aired from 1944 to 1954. Additionally, Ricky Nelson, who played himself on the show, went on to have a successful music career with several hit songs in the 1950s and 1960s. A particular scene that has had a lasting impact on me is from the episode Ricky's debut, where Ricky performs his first song on the show. This scene is significant because it marked the beginning of Ricky's music career and helped to launch him to stardom. Do you have a favorite memory or personal experience related to the adventures of Ozzy and Harriet? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Stay tuned for more fun, shocking, and sad facts about this iconic TV series. Call them on the phone and make it sort of businesslike. Well, it would be just easy if I tell them I was speaking to you on the phone. The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet, a 1952 TV series, was produced with great attention to detail and set design and location. The show was primarily filmed in a studio where the set designers built a replica of the real Nelson family home. 
This allowed for a consistent and comfortable environment for the actors and crew, while also providing a relatable setting for the audience. The exterior shots of the Nelson home were filmed at a house located in the Hollywood Hills, which added to the show's authenticity. However, the logistical challenges of filming on location were significant, and the production team often opted for the controlled environment of the studio. One innovative technique employed during the production of The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet was the use of multiple cameras. This allowed for greater flexibility in filming and enabled the crew to capture different angles and perspectives of each scene. Additionally, this technique sped up the filming process as the cameras could roll simultaneously, reducing the need for multiple takes. The show was also one of the first to use a live audience, which added to the overall atmosphere and helped the actors to deliver more natural and engaging performances. The use of a live audience was an innovative approach at the time, as most TV shows were filmed without an audience and relied on canned laughter to simulate a live audience. In summary, The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet was produced with careful consideration for set design, location, and logistical challenges. The use of innovative techniques, such as multiple cameras and a live audience, helped to create a relatable and engaging show that resonated with audiences for many years. See, knowing the time you want to start a game and you want to finish it, that's one of those little details. The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet, a classic 1950s TV show, is often overlooked when discussing the origins of the show about nothing concept. Long before Seinfeld, this series had already been on air for two seasons, focusing on the everyday lives of the Nelson family. Unlike other family sitcoms of the time, Ozzy and Harriet took a more realistic approach, using ordinary problems as the starting point for each episode. For instance, an episode might begin with Ozzy finding a mysterious bolt while cleaning and then trying to figure out where it belongs, only to have the entire family become involved in the search, along with their neighbors. Ozzy's calm and easygoing demeanor, even in the face of ensuing chaos, added to the show's charm. Although it is a period piece, the humor in the adventures of Ozzy and Harriet remains relatable and enjoyable even today, especially in the earlier seasons when the boys were young. The show's ability to create humor from everyday situations and the genuine interactions between the characters make it a timeless classic worth discovering or revisiting. Actually, what Mr. Miller will do is send them out with orders for the customers. The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet, a popular 1950s TV series, featured a memorable soundtrack that complemented the show's narrative and emotional tone. The music was primarily composed by Len Murray, who was known for his work in film and television. Murray's compositions for The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet were designed to evoke a sense of warmth and familiarity, reflecting the show's focus on family life. The music was often lighthearted and upbeat, mirroring the comedic elements of the series, but it could also be poignant and emotional, aligning with the show's more dramatic moments. The soundtrack also featured performances by the series stars Ozzie Nelson and his real-life family, including his wife, Harriet, and their sons, David and Ricky. Ricky Nelson, in particular, would go on to have a successful career as a singer and musician, with several of his songs featured in the series. The composers and musicians involved in the creation of the soundtrack for The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet played a crucial role in enhancing the show's appeal. The music served as a backdrop to the on-screen action, providing emotional depth and context that enriched the viewer's experience. In creating the score, Murray drew upon his extensive experience in the film and television industry, crafting music that was both memorable and effective in supporting the show's narrative. The result was a soundtrack that has endured as a beloved part of the series' legacy, providing a captivating and enduring musical tapestry that continues to resonate with audiences today. Being philosophical. Well, I guess I'm just not a philosopher. This thing is beginning to get me down. Well, Ozzy just... Joy Lansing, initially considered for the role of Venus DiMarco in the Ice House, missed out to Sabrina. Lansing, however, made a name for herself in the acting industry. Don DeFore, known for his role in The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet, had various sidelines. He operated a restaurant at Disneyland, was a delegate to the Moscow Film Festival in 1969, and served on the California Department of Rehabilitation's board committee. 
Ozzie Nelson, the show's namesake, was an educated man. He graduated from Rutgers University with a bachelor's degree and earned a law degree from Rutgers Newark School of Law in 1930. His education laid the foundation for his successful career in the entertainment industry. DeFore's brother, Don, was a restaurateur operating the Silver Banjo at Disneyland in Anaheim, California. He also served as the American delegate to the Moscow Film Festival in 1969 and was a board committee member for the California Department of Rehabilitation. These experiences demonstrate DeFore's diverse interests and contributions beyond acting. Nelson's educational background was impressive. He graduated from Rutgers University with a bachelor's degree and earned a law degree from Rutgers Newark School of Law in New Jersey. His education provided him with a solid foundation for his successful career in the entertainment industry. The prune itself may be wrinkled, but better the wrinkles on the prune than... One of the most iconic scenes in The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet comes from the episode The Birthday Party. In this scene, Ozzy, played by Ozzy Nelson, struggles to assemble a complicated toy train set as a birthday present for his son, Ricky. The scene is played for comedic effect, with Ozzy's frustration and confusion on full display. The direction in this scene is masterful, with the camera focusing tightly on Ozzy's face and hands as he tries to decipher the instructions and piece together the toy. The use of close-ups and reaction shots from Harriet and Ricky add to the humor and build tension. The performances in this scene are also noteworthy. Ozzy Nelson's comedic timing is impeccable and his exasperation is palpable. Harriet Nelson's reactions add to the humor as she tries to help Ozzy but only seems to make things worse. Ricky Nelson's wide-eyed excitement and eventual disappointment are also well played. The cinematography in this scene is simple but effective. The use of close-ups and reaction shots helps to focus the audience's attention and heighten the comedic effect. The lighting is also well done with a warm, inviting glow that adds to the cozy, family-friendly atmosphere of the show. This iconic scene has had a lasting impact on audiences as it showcases the relatable struggles of parenthood and the joys of family bonding. The humor and warmth of the scene have resonated with viewers for generations, making the adventures of Ozzy and Harriet a beloved classic. According to Ozzy Nelson, the scene was inspired by his own experiences as a father. In an interview, he said, I wanted to capture the frustration and humor of trying to assemble a complicated toy for your child and I think we succeeded in doing that. Harriet Nelson also spoke about the scene, saying, It was so much fun to play off of Ozzy's comedic timing, and I think the audience really connected with that scene because it felt so real and relatable. Overall, the iconic scene from the birthday party is a testament to the enduring appeal of the adventures of Ozzy and Harriet. The direction, performances, and cinematography all come together to create a memorable and entertaining moment that has resonated with audiences for decades. Probably very interesting. Looks pretty dull to me. Well, it isn't. Besides, how do you know you haven't read it? It has a death. Ricky Nelson, a member of the Nelson family that includes Mark and Kelly Harmon as ex-brother and sister-in-law, was inducted into the New Jersey Hall of Fame in the Arts and Entertainment category in 2019-2020. Ricky, who was a part of the 1950s TV series The Adventures of Ozzy, and Harriet had a significant impact on the music industry. In 1992, a book titled Teenage Idol, Travelin' Man, the complete biography of Rick Nelson by Philip Bash was released, providing an in-depth look into his life and career. Ricky's influence in the entertainment industry continues to be felt, and his contributions are still celebrated today. Well, right there is a reason why a lot of the parties haven't been so good. Well, what do you mean? Well, they haven't been properly organized. The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet, a 1952 TV series, had a significant cultural and social impact. The show resonated with audiences by presenting a wholesome, idealized portrayal of suburban family life, which offered comfort and stability to viewers during a time of great social change. Featuring real-life couple Ozzy Nelson and his wife Harriet, along with their two sons, the series was one of the first to depict the everyday lives of ordinary Americans on television. This authenticity helped create a strong connection with audiences who saw their own experiences and values reflected in the Nelson family. The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet also influenced pop culture in various ways. 
For example, the show is credited with popularizing the teenager concept, as it often focused on the challenges and experiences of the Nelson sons, David and Ricky, as they grew up. This focus on teenagers was groundbreaking at the time and contributed to the development of youth-oriented programming in the years that followed. Moreover, the series played a role in shaping discussions on relevant social and cultural themes. While it generally presented a traditional view of gender roles and family dynamics, the show also touched on issues such as dating, school, and work, providing a platform for audiences to engage with these topics. In summary, The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet offered a relatable and comforting portrayal of suburban family life, helped popularize the concept of the teenager, and contributed to discussions on various social and cultural themes. Its impact can still be felt today, as it remains an important artifact of American television history. We got a job. We start this afternoon. Oh, boy. How much do we make? I don't know. We didn't say. I'm sure you'll be well. Don DeFore, known for his role in The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet, made his mark in a different way by opening the Silver Banjo restaurant at Disneyland in 1957. Inspired by a silver banjo gifted by his railroad engineer father, DeFore, and his brother Vern operated the restaurant until 1961. Meanwhile, Ozzy Nelson and his son Ricky Nelson received a nomination for the New Jersey Hall of Fame in the Performing Arts category in 2017. Interestingly, Ricky Nelson's musical career began unexpectedly when he claimed to be a rock singer to impress a girlfriend who was an Elvis Presley fan. He quickly recorded a cover of Fats Domino's I'm Walkin', which became a big hit, and launched his musical career. Initially, Ricky Nelson had no ambition to become a rock singer. It's a very healthy thing. Makes you work harder. Well, that reminds me, David. How did you make out with that composition you did for English today? Oh. The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet, a 1952 TV series, received positive critical reception and had a significant impact on American television culture. The show, which starred real-life couple Ozzy and Harriet Nelson along with their two sons, was praised for its wholesome portrayal of suburban family life. Notable critic John Crosby of the New York Herald Tribune described the show as a warm, comfortable, amusing slice of life and commended its easy, unstrained humor. The series also received accolades for its innovative use of the situation comedy format, with many episodes filmed in the Nelson family's actual home. The show's popularity translated into strong audience reactions, with consistently high ratings throughout its 14-year run. The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet became a cultural touchstone, inspiring numerous imitations and solidifying the Nelson status as an all-American family. In terms of awards, The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet received two primetime Emmy nominations for Outstanding Comedy Series in 1955 and 1956. While the show did not win either year, the nominations themselves were a testament to the series' influence and popularity. The nomination and positive critical reception of The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet were significant for those involved in the show. For the Nelson family, the accolades served to validate their decision to transition from music to television and solidified their place in American pop culture. The show's creators, producers, and writers also benefited from the recognition as it helped to establish their reputations in the burgeoning television industry. Overall, the critical reception and awards received by The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet were indicative of the show's impact on American television and its enduring legacy as a groundbreaking and beloved situation comedy. Just for our football pants in high school. Is this... <laughs> I put a little weight on though. I'm possibly up to a size 31 by now. Kent McCourt, an actor well known for his role in The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet, had a diverse background in the entertainment industry. Before his breakthrough role, he worked as an extra bit player and stuntman between 1961 and 1965. Ozzie Nelson, the show's lead actor and Ken's co-star, had a notable family connection. He was the brother of Don Nelson, who also worked in the entertainment industry. Moreover, Ozzie Nelson's achievements extended beyond his acting career. At the young age of 13, he became one of the youngest individuals to earn the prestigious rank of Eagle Scout demonstrating his leadership skills and dedication to community service. In summary, both Kent McCord and Ozzie Nelson had impressive careers in the entertainment industry with diverse experiences and notable achievements outside of their work on the adventures of Ozzie and Harriet. 
Yes, yes. Here, uh, take two. They're the small size. Yes. Uh, smoke them later. During the filming of The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet, the Nelson family, who played fictionalized versions of themselves, often incorporated their real-life experiences into the show. In one episode, Ricky Nelson, who played himself, was supposed to sing a song for a school function. However, Ricky had forgotten his lyrics, so the crew quickly wrote them on a cue card, which he held just off camera. This led to a charming and authentic performance that added to the show's warmth and appeal. The set of the Nelson family home was designed to resemble the actual Nelson residence, and the show's creators even used the family's real furniture to enhance the authenticity. The set was so accurate that Ozzie Nelson, who directed many episodes, would sometimes forget he was on a soundstage and walk into non-existent rooms, much to the amusement of the cast and crew. The show's writers often drew inspiration from the Nelson family's everyday experiences, leading to a sense of familiarity and relatability for viewers. For instance, an episode about David Nelson, who played himself, struggling to assemble a bicycle was based on the actor's actual difficulties in assembling his new bike. This anecdote not only provided a humorous storyline, but also allowed the audience to connect with the characters on a deeper level. Behind the scene, the camaraderie among the cast and crew was evident. Ozzy Nelson, who had a background in radio and music, often shared his knowledge and experience with the team, creating a nurturing and educational environment. The atmosphere on set was professional yet lighthearted, with the cast frequently ad-libbing and improvising to create a more natural and engaging performance. In one particular instance, the show's writers had planned for Ozzy and Harriet to argue over a trivial matter. However, during filming, the actors found the dialogue too forced and unnatural. Instead, they decided to improvise, leading to a more authentic and heartfelt conversation that resonated with viewers. This moment showcased the cast's ability to tap into their real-life relationship, which added depth and sincerity to their on-screen personas. The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet became known for its wholesome and family-friendly content, and the show's creators were committed to maintaining this image. In one episode, a scene called for Ricky Nelson to wear a leather jacket, which the network executives felt was too rebellious. In response, the costume department added a sweater underneath the jacket to soften the image, demonstrating the show's dedication to upholding its values and appeal. These anecdotes from the making of The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet provide a glimpse into the warm, familial atmosphere on set and the cast's commitment to authenticity. By incorporating their real-life experiences and maintaining a strong sense of camaraderie, the Nelson family and the show's crew created a beloved television series that continues to captivate audiences today. You stop by to see how the dance was going. Where's Julie? She's over there getting some refreshment. Harriet Nelson, the main character in The Adventures of Ozzy, and Harriet was not only a beloved actress, but also a grandmother to six talented individuals, including Tracy Nelson and Matthew Nelson, Harley Bear, who played a recurring role on the show, later became known as the voice of elf Ernie Keebler in Keebler Cookie commercials. The Nelson family's involvement in the show extended beyond acting, as Ozzy Nelson directed most of the episodes, and his son, David Nelson, directed a number of the later episodes. This familial involvement added a unique touch to the production of the series. Uh, uh, <laughs> don't worry there, I'll take care of everything. Uh, you just go ahead and join the folks, I'm going to... The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet, a 1952 TV series, holds a significant place in film history. It was one of the first successful family sitcoms, paving the way for similar shows in the future. The series, which starred real-life couple Ozzy Nelson and his wife Harriet, along with their two sons, offered a wholesome and entertaining view of suburban life in America. The show's impact on future filmmaking is evident in the way it popularized the format of the family sitcom. Its success demonstrated that shows centered around family relationships could resonate with audiences, leading to the creation of many similar series in the following decades. The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet also showcased the talents of its young stars, Ricky and David Nelson, who went on to have successful music and acting careers, respectively. Subsequent works inspired by The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet include shows like Leave It to Beaver, The Brady Bunch, and Full House. These shows, like Ozzy and Harriet, explore the dynamics of family life and the challenges and joys that come with it. 
The Nelson family's real-life experiences also inspired several plot lines in the show, adding a layer of authenticity that further endeared the series to its audience. In short, the adventures of Ozzy and Harriet left a lasting legacy in the world of television, shaping the way family sitcoms were made and inspiring future generations of filmmakers and performers. Mr. Thornberry and me. The Oz! Oz! Do you hear voices? Well, yes. Harriet Nilsson, who starred in The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet, had a lesser-known connection as the sister-in-law of Don Nilsson. Meanwhile, Frank Cady, another actor in the series, pursued higher education at Stanford, earning a B, a in speech and drama, and later returning for graduate work. It was there he met his future wife, actress Shirley Jones. Ricky Nelson, also a part of the series, made his singing debut with a cover of Fats Domino's hit I'm Walking on the Perry Camo Craft Music Hall in 1957. From 1958 to 1965, he performed his songs exclusively for the TV audience on the adventures of Ozzy and Harriet. It wasn't until 1966 that he graced the Ed Sullivan show with his musical talent. Uh, you certainly have a lovely home. Well, uh, thank you. Uh, David does most of the gardening for us, you know. He's a Lyle Talbot, father of journalist David Talbot, had a notable connection to the TV series The Adventures of Ozzy and Harriet. His son, David Nelson, played a significant role in the show. Interestingly, Ozzy, the father in the series, was never shown having a job, and there were subtle hints that he might have been trained as a lawyer. In real life, Ozzy was a band leader and a lawyer before getting into radio and television. David Nelson, on the other hand, learned how to be a catcher in a trapeze act for the film The Big Circus, and later appeared professionally as a catcher. Captain of one team, Mr. Thornberry's gonna be captain of the other. Oh, no, no, just a second, David. I mean, after... The U.S. Postal Service issued a set of commemorative postage stamps in 29, honoring early American television programs, including the adventures of Ozzie and Harriet. The stamp featured the show stars Ozzie Nelson and Harriet Nelson, the series began as a radio show in 1944, with professional actors playing the Nelson sons, David and Ricky. However, by 1949, the real David and Ricky Nelson joined the show, which transitioned to television in 1952. Ricky Nelson, the Nelson's son, went on to become a successful musician and actor. Well, why did I go on this diet in the first place? You mean you don't know either? No, of, of course I do. If the adventures of Ozzy and Harriet holds a special place in your heart. We'd love to hear your stories. Share your memories and experiences related to this 1952 TV series that left a lasting impression on you. Perhaps you found comfort in their portrayal of family life, or maybe you were inspired by the show's wholesome humor and values. Whatever your connection, we'd love to hear about it. By sharing your thoughts, you can help keep the legacy of this classic series alive and inspire others to explore its impact on cinema. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more cinematic explorations. We can't wait to hear from you and learn how the adventures of Ozzy and Harriet has touched your life. Let's start a conversation and celebrate this beloved TV series together. Must be stopped. What time is it? It's, uh... Where's my watch?